Okay, we take a look at a wide shot of this uh, amazing arena, all the big screens they have in here. And before we make the announcements, we'll let you enjoy the entertainment before we get to our light heavyweights. Ring announcer KK entering the ring again. showing his uh, video here. He's from Strasbourg. Not worried about the lack of headgear. He's more concerned about the distance. He only had his right hand operated on, so we'll have to see if there's any effect of that. Most boxers, their right hand is their bread and butter pun. Well, he has faced his next opponent before and lost to him, but I'll talk about that in a minute. The other light heavyweight fighting for the trip to the Olympics. Abel Haifi Bechabla coming out. Abel Haifi Bechabla, he's ranked number one. He fought for the uh, Kohang Poseidons out of South Korea. He's from Algeria. 6-0 in the WSB with one TKO. Like I said, these two met at the Muhammad Trophy in Morocco in 2010. The, Gogui lost that fight to Benjamin Abla, but he said the judge, uh, Gogui said the judge was too cautious, stopped the action, didn't let him keep going. But they don't have to worry about the, this format. This is a different format altogether. Not going to happen here. And Saba was a heavyweight before, campaigning as a heavyweight. Then he got into the World Series of Boxing, and it's such a torrid pace that the, that the weight just peeled off of him. Now he's campaigning as a light heavyweight. Renee Just, a veteran referee, is uh, calling the fighters. Of the ring. And taking a look at their gloves. Rene Juice did our uh, heavyweight fight last night, did a great job. They got him in there against the light heavy tonight as our referee. Scheduled for seven and boy, what a what a barn burner that first bout was. Middleweight boxing. Rizigov. Uh, in there, hung in the whole way. Dervinchenko really grew as a fighter too. He, he got better round by round. He got a second win about that third, fourth round. 
Now, Devin Chaco, I think, is a very tough customer. He needs to develop a couple more skills, like a better, better foot movement, head movement. Yeah. He's not going to be able to bang away if he ever decides to go and become pro, yeah. or he may stay in the WSB, I don't know. Yes, you must have more tools in your chest. And he needs more than just what he's got. He's got it good, but he needs to add to that. Here's Mitch Abla, like I said, 24 years old, out of Algeria. He's been back in Algeria training, working hard to go the seven rounds, which you can understand why they do it. I tell you what, they yeah. put on a heck of a show here. This our fourth sure night in Guiyang this month, and uh, they have had hundreds of dancers and entertainers and singers, and it's just really been great, great hospitality and great entertainment. And they're such nice people. There's, well, there's the gloves, final taping of the gloves. You see the Poseidon's uh, logo. A lot of people telling me, Grogui, this is my first chance to see him because Sean and I worked only in the Americas series with our four teams in the Americas, but some say he's been unstoppable. We'll have to see if he can uh, close the deal tonight and and get that uh, exemption to go straight to the Olympics. It's not going to be that long from now, about a, no, about a year from right now before the London, the London Games. It'll yep. be honest before we know it. Right around the corner. they got another Renee season Just of the World Series of Boxing to go through as well. Renee Jus, final instructions. Season starts in late November, and it has, uh, you know, it, look at these kids. Eight time, eight fights, and seven fights for these two. Here we go. Busy. And they start final quickly. fight of the year. It's yeah. been seven months to get to this point. <laughs> Gregui is in the white trunks from Paris United. Benchabla in the red trunks. Right in there go, right at it. Oh, left hand from Gugui. Gets Mishabla going backwards. They ain't wasting time. Don't blink, folks. These are light heavyweights throwing like bantam weights. You think they've had some pent-up anxiousness waiting for these finals? How quick is this guy? Gugui is fast in the ring. First of all, it's a fast start from him, but look how quick his punches are. Sets him up nicely, too. Throws him real straight. Doesn't try to go real on the outside, real wide or real... Wacky looking. <laughs> I think cross. they both thought the better of going at that pace for uh, seven rounds. Gotta <laughs> settle down, boys. <laughs> oh, downstairs to the body. Nice job. Gugui. Good arsenal weapon. Good jab from him. Good balance, it looks like. Keeps his hands up nicely. Here he comes back. Good job. Trying to press a little bit. Good is going to come straight forward. I can tell you that. Yeah, he just got caught again. Well, Gui's trying to finish this thing early, folks. Benchaba is a little wild with his punches. If he gets too wide open, he's going to get straight in. Shortest distance for two points is a straight line, so the man throwing the straighter punches. Stop! Grogui would be would get there first. Some of that tape coming loose already during this uh, first round. Try clock stops at 137, round one. They need to address that. That needs to be maybe duct tape or something. Something's got a little more stick em on it. That what? sweat gets under there, and it just pulls right out. Gugui doubling up the jab, pushing Benchaba back with that. Good jab, good jab. Benchaba has a good jab, but he drags his right, watch how, how he telegraphs his right hand. When he jabs, he telegraphs that right. He just wide up, got caught on the inside. Another right hand. If he stays wide open like that, he's going to hit the canvas. Gugui's going to come in and take advantage of that. Like I said, we spoke, spoke to Gugui last night. He's all business. And very confident, and I, I can see why. You have this style. As a light heavyweight, this throw this fast. It's going to give a lot of light heavyweights no, trouble. Machado no, holding no, on right now. Yeah. 50 seconds left round number one, scheduled for seven. Going where no amateurs have ever gone before. I'll tell you what, Machado, if he tries to match up speed to speed, he's going to be outclassed. You can't do it. you got to control that speed somehow. How do you do that? You know. Get downstairs. He's not doing it, though. And Chaba a little sloppy on his defense. He's hands down by his waist. And even on the inside, he's throwing wide punches. Man, those are fast. I'll tell you what, if you like action, we got it, folks. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> Can't even blink, you don't know what's going to happen. These are light heavies. Somebody can go down real fast. 
That's good upper body movement by Gogui right there. Good job of throwing, but just hitting nothing but air. That's what good defense is all about. No kind of smack up on Punching lines will be in. Well, that opening flourish was something to see. I don't yeah, know if we yeah. have it here. This may be it right here. Go right to work. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yep. fast. Look at how fast he is. Gogui throws combination punches and bunches, and he throws them, he throws them like a featherweight. Nice. Trying to hit that single shot. Well, what I like about it. head hunting from Ben Chaba. I like her goose. I like his upper body movement. It's hard to hit. I see a lot of European fighters kind of straight up, kind of stiff. Yeah. I think uh, the judges favor Gogu in that first round, as they should, I think. I think they had a good job from what I saw. That was up there pretty fast. I think they gave that first round a good job. So you never know. It's up there so fast. That, um, I can't. We'll just see. I'll, I'll check it out after oh, the yeah. round two schedule for seven here, light heavyweights. You're in Guiyang, China. It's seven, and these two do not know what to expect. That that sixth and seventh round is just that is a, a tough, tough, tough couple of rounds. A tough six minutes. You know they don't know what to expect. That's why they're so fired up here. I mean, Chaba didn't like those those pants up so high. <laughs> Pulling up his trunks was uh, Rene Jess, the referee. Uh, Rene adjusting right there. there for a minute. Oh, good combination. Over the top with that right hand. So gooey. Chaba finding a little more confidence here, though. Ooh, good right yeah. hand from Gooey. Gooey's corner wanted him to keep pressing forward. Well, it's found a home for that right hand. That right cross works really well. Look at how Ben Chapa drags that left as he's coming back. He's sloppy on his defense. He can tag somebody who's still sharpshooter like Rogui. We have there for Ben Chapa. Downstairs goes. Good cross. Good job. Good showing he's not done. Good job. We've found some confidence here around number two, certainly. That's a good cross from him. May have hurt his hand with that shot. Right hand kind of high on the, on the head. And Chamba through. Gugu needs to start putting some punches together here. He's, he's, he's taking a lot of hits. Seven rounds to go. Yeah, it looks like oh, right hand. He just got Benchabla sharp shooting now. Best punch Benchabla's thrown. Benchabla is from Algeria. Oh. And he said it was kind of tough fighting in Korea, diet wise and everything else. Probably helped him get down from <laughs> from heavyweight to light heavyweight. Yeah. But the food was a big problem. Oh, Benchabla having a good round this round. Showing good movement. Watch the heads. Their heads are very close in there. French contingent, a little bit nervous here. Of course, their team won the uh, team championship, and they kept two of their best fighters, Ubala and Ubali and Gregui, out of the championship. Now, now remember, Gregui had a little hand operation on his on his power hand. I saw the scar yesterday, but it was fine. Obali got beat last night by Jim and Wang in a very close, very close fight. We got uh, Abu Talipan leading in that first one. Okay. They're hard to remember. Yeah. Things all run together here in my head. <laughs> 86 fights, one. I think that was a really good, good round. round for a uh, very good round. Yeah, yeah and we'll, we'll see who did that. the first round, too. Like you were thinking of Benchabla, and I was thinking of it was Gregui. I thought I would have given it to Gregui, but I thought the judge gave it to Benchabla. I think that Gregui's not using his whole uh, quickness and his speed. He's letting Benchabla. Yeah. They're showing mostly Gregui here, but that, that round was Benchabla. We don't control the replay, but. Just those replays you think that Gregui won that fight. But it's uh, Benchabla. Yeah, Benchabla. They, they, they got they get both out of Benchabla, I guess. Wow. 
Well, I thought you were going to do a pretty good first round. Right. You know, he's, he's, I was worried about that right hand, too, because of that operation, but he's utilizing it. You know, he's using it a lot. Grogu, he is. And Chandler, really, a lot of heart from him. He's been rocked a couple of times in that first. And in the second, he did really well. So he's got to pick up the pace up. here. Dude, there's yeah. that jab I'd like to see from him. Good right hand, here we go. Oh. A little wobble, it's Gogu wobble. Gogu wobble, it's obvious. Look at, the, look at the crowd reacting to this. Hard, hard punches. At this point, judging from the scores I saw, Gogu has to win this round. Or he's gonna be, yeah. he's gonna need to sweep the final four if he doesn't win this round. He's gotta win this round. There we go. I tell you, Vince Oblin's a good fighter. He is. He's tough. He's, he's been hit. He's been hurt. He's come back. Oh, good effort, Kevin. That was Go nice. Wow. This both are, both of these two are good fighters. You know, this is the World Series of Body. These are the best amateurs in the world. Look at these two. Very good fighters. Oh, they're tough. Gogui tried to come over the top there. They both want to win this. I tell you what, the one thing I was just saying, Gogui has got, he's got, he's not using what his advantage is. He's got, he's, he's quicker. A lot of head shots here. We haven't seen much of a body attack in this match at all. In this match. I think they're getting the message across the Parisian corner over here that Gogui lost those first two rounds. But of course, it's hard to hear your corner when you're out there getting pounded on. You're busy, too. You're, you're a bit busy, yeah. You, work. you can't take the phone call. Good job. has got some wicked Flash your heads right there. Watch your heads. Right between the eyes. Let's see how Good job reacts to that. Stop! Stop! Hold your head. Juice also. is warning you about okay? it. Yeah, you okay? Juice. He says yes. Both of them say yes, I'm okay. The referee Renee yeah. Juice is uh, warning him about the flash of heads. Good uppercut there. Uh, the cut is right on the forehead, too. Right between the eyes. Gregory just put his head in a real bad spot right there. Lean right it forward the like that, yeah. Sean. That's yeah. not smart. No, no, no. You, you're supposed to squat. You're squatting your squat, you squat down. You don't lean over at the waist. I've seen Bim Chamba do it as well. It's a dangerous move. You take your eyes off your opponent, and he has the advantage. Uh, you feel the tension growing in this fight. Oh, they're just throwing big shots now. Yeah, behind it. 36 seconds left in round three. No palming. Renee just says no palming from Bim Chamba. There goes the mouthpiece. Sign of fatigue. You know, the first thing that goes is the mouthpiece. Now, you, if that happens, to you, if you're thinking, if you're in this Vinchamba, you gotta be thinking, he's tired, I really gotta jump on him. You know, his mouthpiece like that tells me that he's, that he's gasping for air. Well, they have really, really been throwing big hard shots here. Hey, I don't think, I know they train for seven rounds, but I don't, I don't think they're thinking about seven rounds. They're not, they're not. If I've been there. I tell you what, if I had the, if I had the speed, of Gregui, I would have tried to take this guy to later on. And I wouldn't have allowed myself to get behind early in this fight. But then again, I can't fight. So. Three you seconds left. You want to step in for him now? No, no, I, no I would rather not. You know what? It would be a lot easier if you could have somebody like fight the first three rounds for you and then you step in because if, if you think about it, all the energy that they spent in those first three rounds is gone now. And now, now it comes down to conditioning and heart. And who wants it more? A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. pressure. Look at Ben Chamba. I, 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 so big in the ring. He's got so much weight upstairs. He's up his shoulders. I, I haven't given him a credit for yeah. quickness. This is a really good matchup. Yeah, very good. You know, in the first round, I was totally impressed with Grogui. And uh, that's how the scores are going. What is that? Back, it's back, uh, yeah, 30 27. Yeah, they gave the. So they gave the. Third round to third Gregory. round went to uh, one judge. One judge went for doing the Dewey, but the, the other two judges haven't uh, a shut out so far. Chabla is way ahead. Chabla. So and this is a close. In my estimation, it's a very close fight. Come on, go to work. Well, go Dewey if he wants to come back. Uh, he's in the white trucks, by the way. Bichabla's in the red trunk spot. And, you know, this guy's paid, imagine he's from Algeria and he went all the way to South Korea to fight in the World Series of Boxing. Oh, oh. Here he is fighting for the championship. 
Wow, and he is a rough, hard-nosed fighter. Wow. Don't hold, don't hold. Ventaba didn't mind getting hit. He don't care. I, I, wanna, I just want to hit you. Okay, if, 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 if you're Gugui and your corner's tilting you down 3 nothing, what strategy, Sean, would you start doing against get tough guy? A lot of punches. Just a lot, a lot of, of punches. Yep, a lot of it. you got to build up the points. Don't worry about the knockout here. You're, you're behind on the scorecard. Get the punches working. Surprise him when you'll find a knockout. Just get, get him working out there. This is this is terrible for him. Look at how Bishabba stayed out of this distance. Yeah. Okay, he's, he's got scoring. the right distance. He's he scored from the right distance. He's hustling. He's hustling out there. Wow. Yeah. And think about it too, we have three more rounds of this. If they go that far. Yeah. But I mean they're just going to get we, I, I was talking time. about before we got here to China, we talked about it would seven rounds would have more of a telling effect than the light heavies and the heavies. We definitely saw that last night in the heavies, yeah. although they went the distance, but the, but the guy who won, Russo, he was running out of steam. Just the other guy didn't have enough. He got behind early, and uh, Russo was able to hold on. He was definitely sucking air. Here we're on the fourth round. These guys have only gone five uh, all year, and uh, and it's it's going to be a real gut check yeah. time for both of them as they get down to. Like I said, oh, there goes again. There goes again. Uh, that, to me, that says that tells me a lot about uh, a fighter. You're losing your concentration. You're losing your mouthpiece. You're 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 pan looking for air. You're looking for some kind of rest. You know, it tells me a lot about a fighter. If if I was fighting someone and their mouthpiece goes he looks out, a little bewildered. I don't know me, him. It gives me energy. It gives me excitement. I don't know him because I can't read it that way. Oh, what was that? I don't know. No, I don't think I've ever seen that. I haven't seen it either. as a, a host up there, a hoedown. I, I, I thought maybe he stepped on some hot coals or something. I don't know. That was interesting. That was, a, was that a kick? It, it wasn't from a punch, was it? I mean, I've seen guys do funny things after they've been hit hard. I don't think so. Yeah, he's running. He's so the Gurgui's getting frustrated. He said, once you, once you fight. Oh. 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 Wow, he's hurt. Gurgui's hurt. A couple of left hooks from him. This to him. Chaba is putting on a Chaba. Yeah, this is very good. I'm very impressed with him, Chaba. You know, I think he's got potential really on the yeah. world stage. Yep. Outside the amateur. This is one of the best fighters I've seen in this series, Chaba, really. In terms of what he can do. Well, they are number one and number two. Goguri is number two in this light heavyweight division. No holding, no holding. 24 years old. Wow. What a future. Wow. That's a big round for Ben Chapman. Yeah, he needs to relax and kind of gather himself in that round. You know, he threw his arms down. He kind of walked away a few times to kind of shake out the, the fatigue in him. Here's the, the, what was happening. Ben Chapman still throwing the punches and connecting. Fighting an uphill battle again. Really. Gugui just keep behind the eight ball. Not quite enough activity, not quite enough pressure. There it is. Same thing, right? Another two judges. Uh, two judges have been shut out. That guy right there is superior tonight. No doubt about it. I, I met his uh, trainer in there, Azadine Agude. Very nice oh, yeah. guy. He was very excited about his young fighter. And I'm telling you, from what I've seen these four rounds, this guy has got potential beyond, beyond what I've seen a lot of these fighters in WSB. This guy, he's got quickness, he's got speed, he's got accuracy, he's got toughness, he's got great footwork. He doesn't need to get knocked out, though, because that's the only way he can lose help. his fight at this point. That wouldn't help him. <laughs> that's the only way he can lose his fight. I'm just stating the obvious, which I'm so good at. But uh, he's got a lot of skills. He, he, he needs to, uh, I don't know if he's aware of the scores, but... It's a long way to go, though. It would, seem that, there, there, it would seem that there's skills from boxing, too, not skills from training or, you know, where you learn how to fight in, the, in a gym is... Dirk is mad at something. Here he Here he comes, Bill Gooey. See, that's what, you know, we're getting into the deep water here, I said, you know. Even though Ben Chappell's won the first four rounds, remember, this is boxing, folks. It can turn on one punch, so I... I haven't, nobody's given this fight at all to Ben Chapa. He just made a mistake right there and got caught, found himself going across the ring. I like the way he fights though, you know, he's kind of loose in the ring, he's, he's very elusive. He walks around his opponent, I don't like him 
He's stepping over to say he's crossing his feet whenever he moves to his left. Huh? Not a fan of that, but everything else, pretty good. Keeps his hands down, but that's okay. He, get, he gets him up when he needs to. He punches up. Ben Schlaba does. Don't push him. Don't Little tie up. It's okay. He needs a rest. You know, he's, he's, he's breathing in there. He's learning how to go these rounds. Ben Schlaba is. Well, he beat Gregory earlier this year. Sometimes you got that one guy in there that you just can't figure out, and Gregory hasn't figured this guy out yet. But Ben Schlaba is still oh. throwing, too. Good combination. Man, he hits hard. Trying to pull out is Gogui. Making him pay for it, Ben Chaba. Chaba is right on top of it. Don't hold him. They're both tired. But I think more Gogui than Ben Chaba. Good jab, good jab, good jab. You know, you, you, your opponent sometimes runs right into that jab, and that's what Gogui is doing. Ben Chaba just sticking that jab out there. Gregory is just taking it. That builds up points for your opponent, not for you. Good hook. Yeah, Ben, ben Chaba is good. Gregory is tired. He, he, he doesn't have enough snap on his punches. He needs a, he needs a KO, and I don't the way he's fighting now. I don't think he has it enough in there. Ben Chaba is not going to let him hit him. No, yeah, Ben Chaba is too ring-wise in there. Abdel Hafid Bench Abla, a name perhaps to remember the way he's dominating this fight, but like I said, one punch could change things. Fifth round coming to a close. We got the sixth and the seventh so far. Can he keep it up? He lost that round. So he needs to be aware that we saw this last night in the heavyweights. Russo won the first four rounds, but then Benzadov came by the guy from Azerbaijan and won the last three rounds. So, you know, although he's, he's, he's got enough rounds in the bank now, he did lose that last round. Ben Chaba does, right? Ben Chaba's got enough rounds in the bank, yes. We got two to go, he's up three. So this is a matter of what Gregory could manage to do here. And these, like I said, they're really some the, the sweat over there or something in the mouthpiece. Oh, the mouthpiece once again uh, was no, that. This is oh, uh, Ben Chaba's yeah. mouthpiece. That's, his, that's the first one for him. So Gooey's had his mouthpiece taken out twice. And that would, you know, again, tell me some things about both I wouldn't, these, be, surprised I anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if Ben Chaba's gas as much as he's been. They're in the sixth round, folks. No. Oh. There's a the right hand. I just told you, look out for the one punch. But Chaba getting a little winded. He was going to try to turn around now. He needs a KO. Remember that right hand is the operation hand for Brogui. And it's operating right now. He just had surgery on the right. Brogui did. Good left took from Ben Chaba. Uppercut from Brogui. Brogui needs some, some big shots here. Pichaba, they're both tired, but yeah. yeah. Pichaba, I often wonder if you know you're, that you're ahead and you're trying to get through, whose advantage is it? Because Gugui knows he's got to press the issue. Pichaba saying, hey, I'm gassed. Can I, can I survive the last two rounds? Well, that's when you get yourself hurt. Well, Pichaba is such a relaxed fighter. Look at him out there. He can go all night this way. I mean, really, he's such a relaxed fighter. Hands are down. He's elusive. He's bouncing around. You don't see that from, from Gogui. Gogui is looking for the knockout now out of desperation. He needs it. He knows he needs it. And he's struggling to find it. And he's tired. He's tired. Sixth round action and they, they're still fighting in this. Break, break, stay break. Come on. 117 set round six. You know, what do you do when you're out of gas in the middle of the ring like that? Maybe you can try to take some real deep breaths, but you're mostly you're looking for the bell. Good job with doing good work right here. I got caught with a little right hand right there. I'm telling you, if he, if he goes out of gas, he can get put down. You can't, you can't let down now. If he just made it. Difference between being loose out there and just being gassed. He looks a little gassed. Well, he's certainly light on his feet. He doesn't want to be light on his back. 
45 seconds left, round six. Jab, jab, jab. Nice work from Gogui. Nice body fight down to the body now. Just didn't like it. A little bit on the backside, but that's the way Ben Shaw was turned. Yeah. Oh, good. When he bends down, see there it is again. Bending him from the waist does yeah. not work. You take your eye off, you can't see him. Squat down. Just sit on that back foot if you have to. Hands up around your face. What I would like to see from Gregu is, is pepper this guy with jabs. Yeah, good early. Movement. Early. Yeah. Sure. Set it up. Go to the body a little bit. But he's been head hunting. Hard, yeah. You start head hunting, and you got to lose the target. That's a losing operation. That's what he's been faced with tonight. It's like he came in without a fight plan. Uh, that's that's exactly. Plan I, I, I just yeah. think he should have. He, he knows they fought him before, so he knows what he should be doing. Here's a, here it is. There's a big right hand. Oh, Another big right hand. Was it a little too, too little too late for Gregui because he probably won those last two rounds with the job of the you know, when you when you win those early rounds, you gas yourself sometimes. Ask the, ask the pros who go 12. Sure. And many times, uh -huh, they say, still, yeah, they give that round to Benchabo to ben as well. So, you know, that's where the pros really, for professional boxing, they, they, they many times allow the fighter to beat themselves. They beat themselves because they go. Yeah. Right, they rush out the first the first five rounds. Man, the first time I fought Danny Lopez, he just he, he schooled me because that's what I did. I went out and I blasted him the first five rounds. And I was out of, yeah, I was out of gas. And he, you know, he just took me out and I'll be out for a burger. He made, <laughs> uh, he made, so that's yeah, the final me. round of the he light did. heavyweight action. The final round of the WSB inaugural season. And what a season it's been. Coming down to this. Light heavyweight matchup. Abdul Haifu Bajaba in the red trunks versus Ludovic or Ludo Gugui in the white trunks. Paris United had a great year winning the team championship. They brought two fighters here to try to win individual championships. And uh, the first one, Nordin Ubali, the bantamweight, came up short. And it uh, looks like Gugui, unless something big happens here, is going to come up short. No backhanding, says the referee. I directed it in Faba. I just think that he really didn't have to do as much head hunting as he's done. I mean, sure. it just, it just, but Chavez got too much movement. Of course, he, he invites you in to counter you. So that's why he holds his hand so low. I just, Gugu has got a lot to learn about. And then plus that little problem he's got, Sean, of bending forward. He's looking down at the at the ground and. You got You got to, like Sean said, you got to squat down. You got to stay. You got to be aware of what you're doing. I just, I don't think that they're going to be happy at all with his performance. Well, right? they've got. He has a lot of good attributes. For who he does, he really does. He's very skilled. He does a lot of good things and a lot of things right. Uh, I think job does a lot more things yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> conditioning is, is paramount here. If you're not in great condition, you can't carry out the maneuvers. Conditioning is. is he has to get better shape. You gotta breathe more. You gotta you know, hold on to that mouthpiece more. You gotta stop bending over at the waist. You gotta keep your hands up better. You know, you gotta pay attention to the basics. One minute left. Going with the a fight season. Plan. I tell you, Bitch Abla has got the skills. You know, I don't know why he would even stay under an Olympic scoring system because he he's got the skills of a professional scoring system oh, yeah. that to his advantage. And he he, his can, style. And he may get out pointed because of punches landing in the Olympic scoring system, but the yep. way he fights. Uh, he's got the skills to give it a give it a try out there in the light heavyweight division. More suited in the pros. In the light heavyweight division, you go right to the top because there are not many light heavyweights. It used to be a uh, a, a well. Look a how fast he is division. because he lost. He came down from being a heavyweight. Yeah. Speaking of speed, remember that speed from Rogui back in that first round? Finally found it again, huh? Yeah, he didn't show it. Twenty-two seconds left. Watch your head. Watch your head. Step back. Step back. Good job of doing a smart thing, holding on right yeah, here. Just hanging on. Got, yeah, not much time to go. He's he's winded. He's gassed. I was impressed with Ben Shabla just yeah, walking around the lobby of the hotel when I, when I met him a little bit. Did he uh, did he do this? He, he said <laughs> he's throwing punches then too. No, it's just a, no, it's just a, a well conditioned, uh, a nice guy. Oh yeah, and. Uh, Let's see the disappointment over in the uh, blue corner for Gregui, who's 
sucking air. We'll be awaiting the final results of uh, Lord knows how many of these fights we've done this year, but it's been a, it's been quite a ride. We'll talk about that when we conclude after we get all the, uh, the scores here. So the action from round number seven. Very interesting to watch. Njabla. Njabla is a very he's skilled. I'm telling you, I'm impressed with this guy. guy. Yeah, right. Me too. He uh, moves around around the ring well. He throws good hard punches. He's, he's, got, he's aggressive enough. He's got enough. good he's, ring savvy. Yeah. He's got what it takes. I said if he wants to go, unless he wants to stay in the WSB, but to go to the next level, he's one of the very, very few I've said that might be ready right, right. now. Yeah. Uh, what is. this league is about is developing a Power. better talent, but this guy, I don't know how much more he can do at this level. I mean, he, he's got this, he's got the footwork. He doesn't make mistakes. He's uh, ring-wise. Ri very ring-savvy. Yeah. He's got a lot of ring generalship which is required in professional boxing. It's better than captainship. It's all the way up to generalship, you know. Yeah. Okay. Not Here we go. Man. Here's KK. The score of this round is by the members. Judge Wall, 69 to 64. Judge Shu, 68 to 65. Judge Lee, 68 to 65. The winner. Congratulations to Abel Hafi Bekbala. It's Abla who uh, really was impressive tonight. Brought, uh, here's a guy, like I said, I gotta give a lot of credit. You know, he, he found a spot all the way in Korea to fight for the WSB and he wound up winning the whole shebang. Tough kid, he, uh, a lot of savvy in the ring, fights with a lot of craft, looks like he's holding his hand or he's really happy for the victory. He's got to get those hand wraps off. But another, another thing he was talking about, not only the diet when he went to South Korea, but there's a lot of jet lag, got a lot of road trips to deal with. It's tough enough for us to deal with jet lag just calling these fights, much less going in there and going to the, the rounds he put in. Well, he says Dr. that. Dr. Wu coming in to make the presentation. Something he learned is how to handle that. Uh, that jet lag, Ben Chaba. I think it just dawned on Ben Chaba that he won. He just big smile just hit his face and wow. We'll do the presentations here. A lot to be proud of. A lot of hard work comes into something like this, then you get into the fight, you do well in the fight, when you win the fight, it's a great feeling. You stand in the ring and everybody's looking at you. And they raise your hand. the blue and gold belt. Beautiful design. Dr. Wu puts it on Vince Abla. This guy is uh, something else. And I've seen uh, dozens of fighters over the years calling these fights for the Americas and now here in Gyeong. He's right at the top of the fighters and the talent I've seen. A dominating performance tonight by Abda Haipi Benchabla out of Algeria. Now they're going to make another presentation with those great ropes I wish I had. <laughs> We've crowned, uh, we've made history the last two nights here.
the World Series of Boxing. Crowned five champions in five different weight classes. We always talked about this series as being one world, one league, one champion. Well, there's a light heavyweight champion. We had one team champion out of 12 across the globe. What an ambitious project the AIBA and the World Series of Boxing put together to get to this point, crowning achievement. Five weight classes, bantam weight, lightweight, middleweight, light heavy, and heavyweight. And this is the light heavyweight champion, our final bout of the season. Can't wait to see this guy perform again. He will be in London. All the hard work, probably just now dawning on him, hey, I don't have to go to the Olympic trials. I'm going to the Olympics. And the $20,000 doesn't hurt. We'll be standing by with, uh, with Sean for an interview. I understand we may be bringing all our champions back up into the ring from the last two nights to honor them one more time. There's the coach right there. Both coaches. from last night from Kazakhstan fought for the Astana Arlands Kanat Abu Talipov taking one more bow tonight he beat Nordine Ubali of France in a split decision finished the season 9-0 and you see he's still stitched up right there they're going to bring all the individual champions back out this guy's going to get a big round of applause Jimmy Wang from China, lightweight, won a split decision against Yerzin Musafirov last night from Kazakhstan. And he's going to London. There's your heavyweight champion, finished the season undefeated. Beat Mado, Mago Medrasal Medzidab last night from Azerbaijan. Clemente Russo from Italy won a unanimous decision. Nice of them to put their trunks back on and pose tonight. We're missing our middleweight champion. Middleweight champion was crowned tonight, Sergei Derevchenko. Der if we could find him there. <laughs> Sergei may be with the doctors, from what I understand, which would be understandable not to have him here if he's back getting a medical attention because he was cut. Now here he comes. There's Sergei Derbacheco. There he is in the black t-shirt right there. There's the five guys who rose to the cream of the crop. Yeah, he was probably back with the doctors. There he is putting his new belt on. Started with 12 teams. 
best amateurs around the world to draft last July, and out of all those fighters on 12 different teams around the world, these five have claimed the belt. I know one gentleman up there is the head of the Chinese Boxing Federation. Dignitaries from the province of Gijou. People have been terrific to us in our stays here, the couple of weeks I've spent in this part of China. Dr. Wu has been the most gracious host to us. That's American announcers. You cannot imagine the hard work these young men have put in to get to the top of the crop. Posing once again. so hard to make this season happen at the AIBA and the World Series of Boxing. All the folks back in Lausanne, Switzerland. And all their support crew. We'll see if we're gonna hear. I don't know if we're still scheduled for a winner interviewed or not with Mitch Abla. Just let you folks at home enjoy the uh, enjoy the pageantry here. We have never seen anything like it in boxing. From a beginning, way back, our, my first show in Mexico City, and way back in November, to here we are at the end of May. Culmination of many folks' dreams for the sport of boxing. And here's hoping many years of success for the World Series of Boxing.
到个人的决赛，你们都踊跃的来支持，我非常非常感动，也代表国际拳击总会和 WSB 向各位致上最深挚的谢意，谢谢大家。现在正式宣布 ，WSB 二零一一年整个的赛季结束。谢谢，谢谢。我们今年的十一月份，新的季节要开始。在开始以后，我们希望有更多的比赛能够在贵州举行，同时明年的决赛也希望在贵州。我们能够继续来举办，欢迎大家到时候再相聚，再见，谢谢。Everybody's going to help me interpret here. And uh, Coach Azadine's going to help. And then uh, Paul O'Neill is going to help me interpret as well. And I would like to ask him, how does this feel, him winning this championship tonight and being the first light heavyweight in the World Series of Boxing? How important is this title? C'est quelle importance le titre ce soir d'être le premier parmi les champions de WSB? Je pense que... شعور تاعك الاحساس تاعك بيسك انت هو البرومي شامبيون في كاتيجوري 85 في الدبليو بي اس بي واش تحس؟ بون انا جد بون انا جد سعيد كنت بون تحصلت على البطوله العالميه وتاهلت لعب اولمبيه وهذه السنه من اول جزائري وافريقي وحتى اسم العرب الحمد لله با هي سي هي سي هي از فيري هابي because he is the first Algerian to, to, uh, to win this title and uh, he is the first in this week and he write his, 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 his name and the Algerian name on the, the WASP register book, book and he is the first African and Arabic who will go to London uh, how important that is, how important that is for, for the World Series of Boxing and for him as well. What won this fight for you, Advocate? Is that the game of the combat as well? What is the thing that made me win the combat? The thing that made me win the champion of the world, WBSB, that made me win the combat. Because uh, he thinks, in first, he, uh, he wants to win the title. And the second, he wants to be the, the first Algerian, uh, Algerian sportsman to have uh, his qualification to London. Now you've got to be so excited about that. How about that? Show me some excitement for this. The Olympics, huh? How about that next for you, right? Uh, of course, of course. قالك قالك باسكو سي لي جوز اولمبيك هما اللي خلاوك يس يا 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 Say when. When. <laughs>